Hello, Doom here, and this is episode 33 on to Crafty Server. I'm going to go back on my base doing stuff here, and I am kind of late with this episode. It is late, it's the day before. Pick too good. Move my beacon, but it's still in range. I'll put it back over there. There's the beam. Haste too powerful. It's the day before. Probably should have got some better picks that don't have efficiency 5 on them. But it's the day before this episode was supposed to go up, so I'm really late with this. I just never really... I, I just wasn't feeling up to recording, to be honest. And I wasn't sure what to kind of do. I've got things planned. I mean, I know what I'm doing, it's just trying to figure out what to do next. And I wasn't sure, and I tried to do sort of a few things, couldn't get anything to really work. So I was kind of thinking, you know, what to do. And I just kind of settled on working on this room here, because I, I was kind of working on this in my own time. And there's a few things I've, I've done that I need to show you. It's basically the room, there's the storage room, obviously. It's, the, it's this area that I'll say digging out, which connects to other places. So we've got a corridor down here. I've done stuff down there, which I'll show you in a moment. Wrong slabs. And obviously there's a bit down there, which I've talked about. I think I've shown it dug out. That I've tried to dig out in there, but I'm just there's nothing down there, I'm just digging out an area for the for the future. And on the other side, oh misplace. There's another card on that side as well, which is gonna have something. And I sort of already started this, so I thought because I'm so far behind right now. Ah slabs. Why you do this place properly? Because I'm so far behind, and I've got a few things to plan for episodes, I may as well uh, finish off this for this episode. So I have an episode this week. And it's been a bit of a tricky room. I'm not really sure about it. I'm not sure if I'm happy with it or not. I'm sort of feeling a little bit better about it, but it does seem a little bit plain to me. But it sort of does fit in with the base so far. The weights, yeah, you know, same materials and stuff. I kind of decided to bring in a mix of sandstone because I started using sandstone here with the same materials. So I've just brought in more sandstone over here as well, just, and still use the same materials. And just trying some weird things here, which I'm not sure. Uh, it's it's looking okay. It's a bit different. It looks all run out on the floor. The floor, even though it's a bit bare, the floor makes it a bit better now. It's not just all stone. And we've done that here. The the the, the entrance, the hole, kind of made it go through here. And I we're doing along the walls. And the ceiling's been a tricky, tricky bit. It's a bit of an annoying room. It's one of those, like, just, there's not really much to it. It's kind of where the elevator comes up, I suppose, from the mine. But it's more of a connection room where you've got the corridors which are going to have, that are going to go to things. And also down there where there's going to be stuff eventually. So it's just kind of like a connection room with not much perf purpose other than to just connect other areas of the base. So I've been having a bit of trouble trying to do the design. But I think what I'm doing now, I think I can work with this and it can be done. And it's just a bit awkward to build as well. Um, because of the ceiling, it's just out of reach. I hate building like this in these little annoying situations. Why have I not got more slabs? Now, I've talked about it before, and I'll probably bring it up again in the future until they get added. But we really need flying potions. We need a way to actually be able to fly consistently in survival. Oh yeah, we get to see what I built. A spider spawner. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's work in here and talk about the flying potions still. Because I, I, I just want... I, I think it just makes sense. And it'll be interesting. You might say it's probably too OP, but I don't agree with that. It's a, it's a sandbox game. We should be allowed to be as OP as we want. And the user has a choice to do what they want in the game. And the flying potions, they'll just be practical. I want them just for building. For building big things you'd have to build scaffold and also little rooms like this that shouldn't take too long to build but because the ceiling is just out of reach and I can't place I can do that jumping but over here we can't get that I have to stack up several times if I if there was flying potions I could have done this in like five or ten minutes so I just I would just love that and you, you can make them hard to craft they can be a supremely end game item I'd make use of the in a new update those new the new end mobs because they have a lev levitation effect I'd have them drop something that you need to use with um in the broom recipe so it's definitely an end game item you have to go to the end to do it 
but I want flying versions just just to make building more fun and less awkward in areas like this and also building big builds so yeah that, that's why that's probably my one wish list for this game the one item I want I want flying potions but I think I want to actually do the rest of this now yeah, actually no, yeah let's just I, I touched on it. let's go over there because I, I kind of revealed it without realizing because I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep stacking up and down to do the ceiling because we don't have damn flying potions and that's gonna take a while but let me show you something I've actually done here. What I started working on, uh, I, was, I wanted to link up the mob farm. And there was a corridor I had planned here and it kind of, I could, I got it worked out. It could, I was able to link up through this corridor. And this spider spawner, I complete, completely forgot it was here. And as I dug through, obviously I came up, I came up to it again. I found it and ended up being perfect here we come here we've got a nice little room here spider spawner nice little workshop we've got in here there was a skeleton in here once I don't know how he got in I can only assume that he spawned here and that would be absolute bull crap because there's a door there so mobs shouldn't spawn but it wouldn't surprise me if they do so I have to keep an eye out on that but that that would be unfortunate spider's very loud so we've got a string farm there now and this is the stairway that just lines up perfectly straight there it just well it's, it's not all straight but you know you do design it, it ends up making look looks like it makes sense and a nice little stairway going up which I, I really like and it goes right up here to where the mud farm is there's a drop down if I go up there I'll go to the top of the snow mountain where the uh, the, the ice farm and the ice tower is and stuff and where the mud farm actually is and is the collection point so that's what I've been doing. That's what I was sort of working on. That corridor now links up to that. So we have an access now when we're down here. We can actually get up to the mob farm pretty quickly. And it all links up very well. We've got a spider farm here, so it's it's all good. So that's what I've been working on. I just kind of decided that I probably should do this room. Because it's just been I can't remember when I did it, probably maybe a month or two months ago I dug it out. And it's just been sitting here waiting, so we're now doing it and I'm going to do that now because we don't have damn flying potions so it's going to take me ages to keep stacking up and stacking down and putting all scaffolding everywhere so I'm going to do that now and I'll see you again in a moment i got to say this room is actually looking alright just need to finish in the back wall here just to finish it off and it looks quite good we'll have a look in a second I also had another idea what have I done here uh, it's sandstone. Now I've got a beacon. I could probably use jump boost on the beacon to give me a bit more height. So when you're building rooms like this, uh, the scene is just out of reach. I can just jump up with extra jump boost to help build. But in all honesty, that seems a little bit impractical and would probably be rather annoying after a bit. Oh, I'm using the wrong pick. Getting smooth stone there. It'd be, yeah, it'd be much, it'd be just a lot easier if we could just have, uh, I don't know, some sort of potion that enables flight temporarily. It's okay. So this last little bit here, just gonna stick wood in here. It's nice and simple. And this, I'm actually quite happy with this room in the end. I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. Let's have a look, final touches. And this is all I'm gonna do because I am. I haven't got much time. I was going to do the corridor down there, but I haven't got time. But this is now, this this room, this room is now done. And it looks really good in the end. It all came together. It's what I was talking about before, in a few episodes ago. I've talked about it a few times, about struggles with building. You've just got to build. You, know, you can probably work out on things and keep tearing things down and rebuilding stuff. But when you when you get it all together and you, you end up building it, once it's complete, it all works and halfway through this it was like I felt like this was going to be a really poor room and not look very good but now that I've done it and I've made it all work it's all came together and it, it looks great so I'm really happy with this now and now this room is now done it is now now done it looks really good and I'm incredibly happy with it so I have an episode this week with the gravity it's a bit late but I've, I've managed to do it 
I have to finish that corridor part of that camera. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week though. Actually, I've got an idea. I think I know what I'm doing next week. But this room and this episode is done. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.